I have some exciting news. I've been waiting to tell everyone and I'm so excited. I'm like bursting oh, and I'm profusely sweating. Um, but Sebastian and I got married. I got married. We got married and we did it totally unconventionally. But it is the best story for us that we could ever imagine and I wanted to share it because my heart it's like out of my chest it's on the other side of the world here's how it all went down Sebastian proposed on my birthday it was the most magical proposal he pulled out all the romance that I didn't even know he had so for our wedding we did things totally backwards and we're we're still doing things to celebrate um, if there's anything I've learned in the past year, my family, we've been through a lot, we've seen a lot of tragedy, life is so short, and usually people wait to plan their weddings because they have to plan every step, they need to book the venue, there's a whole process that goes with it. Life is so short, God forbid something happens to us, or God forbid anything happen, why wouldn't we get married if we don't want a big wedding? Our families were scheduled to get together on August 2nd, literally two weeks after our engagement. And we decided because our families will both be there that why don't we change our engagement celebration into a wedding? Ooh! This is like a week before. Um, I went on lulus.com. I looked for a really affordable dress to wear and it was like $100. I ordered it online. I got some shoes, got some earrings on Amazon, booked an appointment with my hair girl, she's amazing, and her dad also happens to be a florist, so he gave us a bouquet as a gift, which was really nice. Um, I had everything for me, I did my own makeup, no problem. We decided to go on that Friday, so we asked our family members to take off work and come for the day. And earlier that week, we went and got our marriage license, because in New York, you have to get your license, and then you have to get your certificate. Hey Seb, where are we going tomorrow? Hey Sky, we're going downtown, baby. Downtown where? Downtown to City Hall. To City Hall to do what? To kiss. No, we're not gonna kiss there. We're not kissing. No, tomorrow's not the kissing day, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have that on my calendar. No, tomorrow we are applying for our marriage license at City Hall. Alright, so we are waiting at the courthouse to get the license. We are in and we are waiting. There we go. So we did that and that Friday our families were here and we went to the courthouse. It's the most exciting place to be because everyone is so happy. You're, I mean, you're in the marriage bureau. So people are in love and they're so happy. People of all races, all sexes, all gender identities, just really there to support people and support their loved ones. It's just truly inspirational um, and romantic in the most raw, real way.
After we got married, we had a private room at a restaurant called Atera, and my dad actually brought wine. Some of it was from my birth year because he always wanted to bring wine from my birth year to my wedding, which obviously, like, oh my god, I'm like crying my eyes out because that's so thoughtful. The whole time, it was just the best energy, the happiest time of my life. I'm bawling my eyes out for four hours straight. For us, it was the wedding of our dreams because we were with family, we were surrounded by love, and everything was so genuine. And now that we're married, we're like, let's throw a New Year's Eve party with our friends and our extended families. Let's just get together and celebrate. And that's what we're doing. And then on our one year anniversary, we're gonna do a vow renewal with a big family vacation. It's a long, drawn out year of celebrating our wedding and we're freaking happy about it. <laughs> but I, no matter what, I know that one day at the courthouse and that dinner afterwards will be the best day of my life. Life is short, we love each other. We didn't want a normal wedding. We wanted experiences with our families. Seb and I have been literally over the moon bursting like, oh my God. And we promised not to tell anyone until after we went to Italy with my family because we wanted it to be our little secret. Just, it just feels nice. It just feels nice. Best time in my life.